Hey yogis, it's great to see you. Just wanted to do this little yoga session with you. Uh, maybe you're coming home from a hard day at work or you're just waking up, wherever you are in the day. I'm so glad that you're joining me. So let's begin. Let's check in with how you're feeling. Come to a comfortable seat. You can be sitting in a chair or a couch or even on your bed. Or if you have a yoga mat, feel free to grab it, unroll it, and join me. So from here, we're going just to settle in. We're gonna close our eyes. We're gonna feel our shoulders drop away from our ears. We're gonna take a deep breath in. Feel the crown of our head reaching up to the sky. As we exhale, we're gonna exhale out through our mouth. A nice, big sigh. <sighs> Two more times like that. Inhale through the nose. Feel the lengthening, exhale, side out through the mouth. <sighs> One more time, inhale through the nose. Feel the expansion in your chest, your rib cage, feel the spine elongating, and then exhale out through the mouth. <sighs> and come into this moment. Let go of everything that came before this moment. Everything that will come after. Coming into the here and now. Letting go of all expectations, judgment, criticism. And just close your eyes or look down at the edge of your mat and just start to scan your body from the crown of your head, your forehead, the back of your head, your ears, your nose, your eyes, your cheeks and your mouth. Create a space between the upper and the lower teeth and swallow. Feel your shoulders drop away from your ears as you exhale out. And just notice how your limbs feel, your arms, your legs. Notice your joints, your shoulder joints, your elbow joints, your wrists. Notice your hips, your knees, your ankles. Just notice how you feel. And sit in any way where your spine is elongated, but you're comfortable. There should never be any sharp pain in yoga. It always should feel like a good stretch. Remember, you're your true yoga teacher. I'm just guiding you through. So let the stretches, let the breath move your stretches. Move you into the poses. And find that Goldilocks of your yoga poses. Take another deep breath in and just settle in. Notice what's touching the ground. Notice what's Exposed to the air. Feel the air on your skin. Notice the sounds you hear throughout the room and the sound of my voice. And breathe in and breathe out. Letting your breaths become slower, fuller, more relaxed. As you breathe in, feel the base of your belly. And as you exhale, feel your navel gently reaching back to your spine. Notice any tension without judgment. And see if you can send your breath there. On your exhale, see if you can release any tightness in your body. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up. Interlace your hands. See if your palms can reach up to the sky. If that feels okay right now. Make any modifications that feel right for you. As you exhale, sweep over to one side. Use the back of the front hand to gently support you into that thigh. Twisting from the bottom, rising up. The last thing to go is your eyes. Notice how your neck feels. Never forcing anything, letting the breath move you. As you breathe in again, sweep the back hand up. Feel the length, and as you exhale, side bend over. Feel that stretch from your intercostal muscles. Breathing in and breathing out. And let that hand sweep forward. Both hands sweep forward and fold over. Your leg can be straight here. They can be bent. Do what feels right for you and your body. Breathe in, breathe out. Sweep your hands back. Press your palms into the earth. Lift your heart up. And if your, shoulder, if your neck feels okay, either let your chin rise up or tuck your chin into the nape of your neck. Inhale, sweep your arms up again. 
And then this time, just sweep your legs in the opposite direction. Inhale your palms up to the sky. Feel the elongation of your spine. And as you exhale, twist over now to the opposite side. Feel the front back hand pressing gently into your thigh. And as you breathe in, straighten up. And as you exhale, slowly from the base of your belly, twist over. On the next inhale, reach your arm up. Feel yourself lengthening. And as you exhale, reach over to the other side. Feel the stretch in your side body. And breathe into the space into the sensations you're feeling and then slowly sweep both hands forward and fold over. Notice the sensations you feel here. Is it stronger in your lower back, upper back, middle back? Perhaps your hips, your knees. Remember, breathe in and breathe out a conscious breath and then slowly roll up. Let your shoulders roll all the way up to your ears and then roll down and then if it's okay for your knees, come onto your knees using a blanket, a pillow, just to pad them, just to keep them safe and sound. And then just nice stretch in child's pose here. Big toes come together, knees as wide as the mat. And then notice if you're just not feeling that it feels comfortable to come down to the floor, let the earth Rise up to you. Use a pillow, a bolster, a block. Place it under your head. And then just notice the difference. Notice how it feels. You want it to feel good. If it feels good, you're going to do it again, and it's going to feel nice. And you want to keep coming back to your mat. So make it nice. Make it fun. Make it feel good. And then slowly rise up. And let's do a cat and cow. This is really two basic poses that are so vital for our spine's health. So make sure your knees are hip width apart, that your hips are right above your knees, that your palms are right underneath your shoulders. Come into a table, feel the crown of your head reaching forward, your navel's gently reaching up to your spine, your tailbone's reaching back. Feel the lengthening in your spine here. As you breathe in, you can tuck your toes and then feel one vertebra at a time. Start to gently back bend, gently rising up. Feel that arch in your back. Keep your head neutral. You don't want to put too much strain on your neck. And then as you exhale, round in. Feel the navel pressing up as everything else releases down into the ground. Really feel the connection here with your palms into the earth, the tops of your feet into the earth, and that navel's rising up. Again, as you breathe in, tuck your toes, let your belly soften, feel the shoulder blades come together, shoulders are away from your ears as you come into your cow pose. And again, exhale, rounding in as you exhale, navel presses up into spine, coming into your cat pose. Do this a few times. Make this your yoga practice. So if you like to go slower or a little faster, let the movement call you. Let your breath help you move through these poses and feel the breath really allowing you to move through your body, through these poses. And then slowly come back to child's pose. Knees can be as wide as the mat, the big toes touch. The bolster can be under your head or a block, and then just settle in. Breathe in and inside. And then slowly rise back up. If you're okay with your knees being on the floor, you're going to sweep your right hand up to the sky and you're going to thread it underneath behind your left. The ear can drop down to the ground. And then the left hand is gently pushing, gently rooting into the earth. The left elbow is bent. And you feel a nice side stretch here as you breathe in and breathe out. And then that hand's going to reach back up and back down. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. The left hand reaches up. Feel the length you're creating. And as you exhale, thread the needle. Thread it behind your right arm. 
Gently pressing that right palm into the earth, bending that right elbow. Breathe in, breathe out. Here, feel the stretch. Deep inhale and side out your mouth. <sighs> and then gently come back up. Reach your arm up, reach it down. And then gently come back to your child's pose. And then walk your hands over to your right side. Let your, heat, let your forehead either rest on a block, your knee. Breathe in, breathe out, and feel that side stretch. Breathing in, breathing out. And then gently back to center. Feel the stretch as you breathe in, breathe out. Make sure that your kneecaps are off the ground. Those kneecaps want to be facing forward. And then we'll twist over to the left. Notice where you feel that. And even taking your hand, perhaps, to that area where you feel that deep stretch and breathe into it. Having your fingers there will help you to bring more awareness to that area. Breathe in, breathe out. And then slowly back to child's pose. Lift your hips and then slowly come back onto your mat facing forward and now let's come into shavasana so you're going to lie down maybe a bolster to support your knees the blanket can be anywhere it feels right for you in your body and you're slowly going to come down arms away from your chest palms facing up and just get really relaxed you make this as cozy as possible and then just close your eyes Press your palms into the earth and you'll rise up and go on with your day in a much relaxed way. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.